Hello and welcome to another support video from Sony. Today we're going to be looking at how to troubleshoot your Sony TV remote control. These days we take the remote control for granted, but if something happens to your remote, you could be left switching channels like we're back in the 80s. But before we begin, here's some recommended solutions to keep in mind every step of the way. We recommend that first off, you simply take out the batteries, leave them outside the remote for approximately one minute, and then reinsert them. You should also always double check if your remote needs fresh batteries. In most cases, this will get your remote control back up and working straight away. If that didn't work, we suggest trying one of the other solutions described in this video. Here's a list of timestamps in case you want to jump to a specific section. Number one, physical damage. Have you sat on your remote by accident or maybe dropped it on the floor? Well, accidents happen, no judgments here. If there are visible signs of damage that go beyond the cosmetic and you can't input any commands or interact with your TV using the remote, we suggest buying a replacement. You can find our recommended third-party suppliers for your country on the Sony Support website. Number two, slow response time. If you're inputting commands on your remote and your TV is slow to respond, here's a few easy troubleshooting tips. First off, remove any kind of obstacle that might be covering the TV's infrared receiver. Sony TVs are regularly updated with new firmware updates and remote responsiveness is one of the key improvements with each update. If you feel like the symptom is still apparent, you should try updating your TV's firmware. Number three, voice functionality. Have you noticed the voice search commands not working with your TV? Well, you might need to perform slightly different solutions depending on your model. Please be aware that you should always check whether the symptom is resolved after each step. Can you see an amber LED when pressing the mic button? If so, simply try pairing the remotes again via Bluetooth. If you can't see an amber LED when pressing the mic button, this is most likely a battery issue. You should remove the batteries again and reinsert them, and perhaps try with some fresh batteries. If then you are seeing the amber light again, but it's still not working, then you should try pairing the remotes again via Bluetooth, as mentioned previously. Number four, the buttons don't work. If you think the issue might be the buttons themselves, then a quick way of checking if the buttons are working is to check the infrared sensor by using the camera on your smartphone. All you have to do is turn on the camera on your smartphone and then press any button on the remote while pointing it at the smartphone's camera. If you can see a beam of light in the picture, then the button works. If that's the case, there are two quick steps you can take. Again, try removing any obstacles from the infrared receiver on the TV and try reducing the distance between the remote and the TV set. However, if you don't see this beam of light when checking your remote with your smartphone, we suggest removing and replacing the batteries as well as trying a new pair of batteries. Number five, further troubleshooting. If you've tried all the recommended advice but still need more assistance, you can try these further tips which apply to each step in the video. Perform a power reset of your TV by unplugging it for around 60 seconds or two minutes for Android TVs, and then reinserting the cord. Alternatively, for Android TVs, you can hold down the power button on your remote for five seconds, and this will reboot the TV. You should try performing a TV software update to ensure you have the latest software. You can find a link on how to do this in the video description. You can also try a factory reset. Please be aware that if you do perform a factory reset, all of your TV's data and settings will be erased. Do you have another issue not mentioned in this video? We have a knowledge base on our support site full of handy hints and tips. We're sure there's a solution in there no matter how unique your issue is. Why not check it out? 